like that long long years ago instead of it there were only one super the pangea broke apart and formed seven separate continents and all the Morning students, hope you are doing well. Students, do you ever play puzzle games? Okay. Students, today I will say you a mysterious fact about our earth. But before starting the class, please tell me the date today. Okay, thank you. I am going to say you a mysterious fact about our earth. Just see at the world map. I have drawn it for your better understanding. Just see the world map very attentively. Don't you think that all the continents can be fitted together like a jigsaw puzzle? Don't you think? Yes, you can clearly see that if we join all the continents together to each other, they can be fitted mere perfectly like a jigsaw puzzle. You can clearly see that the East coast of South America and the West coast of Africa can be fitted together mere perfectly. Don't you think like that? Yes. All the continents can be fitted together mere perfectly. But you can clearly evidently say, see that the East coast of South America and the West coast of Africa can be fitted together like the pieces of jigsaw puzzle. Similarly, if we join all the continents together to each other, they can be fitted mere perfectly. Okay. But... Students, you will surprise to know about that there were no seven separate continents like that long, long years ago. Instead of it, there were only one supercontinent called Pangea, which was surrounded by a single ocean, Panthalassa. Okay, there were no separate Pacific Ocean, there were no separate Atlantic Ocean, there were no separate Indian Ocean. Okay, there were only one single ocean called Panthalassa and one single supercontinent which was called Pangaea, which was surrounded by one single ocean, Panthalassa. Okay, but student, one question arises here that why the continents are not in that position today? Why? Why the Pangaea broke apart and made seven separate continents? Can you say anyone? Okay, Shakshi wants to tell something. Please, Shakshi, please tell. Please speak up. Okay, thank you, Shakshi. Please sit down. So, Shakshi is telling that due to the rotation of the earth, the continents started to drift and not in that position today. Renowned scientist Wagner also showed some reasons like rotation of the earth, tidal energies, etc. are responsible for the drifting of the continents and the break of Pangaea. Okay, but due to the lack of logical proof, he was not accepted. And after that, plate tectonics theory perfectly proved that why the continents are not in their position today and why the supercontinent broke apart. So, students, today we will understand what is plate and what is plate tectonic theory. Today we will understand what is plate tectonic theory and what is plate. Okay, students, I have something to show you. I have drawn it for your better understanding. These are the layers of the earth. And in the previous class, we have already learned about the layers of the earth. And this is the crust. Under that, asthenosphere is situ situated over the upper mantle. And this is the lower mantle. And this is the upper core. And this is the lower core, which is very hot like a burning sun. We have learned about it in the previous class al already. Okay. So, students... This is the rocky outer portion of the earth. And if we cut our earth like that, we can find all the layers inside it. So, students, this is our rocky outer portion where we are living. This is called crust. And under the crust, the asthenosphere is situated. Students, you may not believe that our crust, the crust is divided into many parts and floating over the asthenosphere because the asthenosphere is molten for extreme temperature and pressure. 
due to the extreme temperature and pressure the crust the part of the crust is floating over the asthenosphere is floating over the asthenosphere okay and due to the extreme temperature and pressure the plates are forced to move to each other okay they can be moved in different directions okay we will discuss it later but students just see here the crust the parts of the crust is floating over the asthenosphere and the parts of the crust is nothing but a single tectonic plate okay the parts of the crust or we can say the crust is divided into many parts we can call it the tectonic plates and the tectonic plates are floating over the asthenosphere student you will surprise to know that the continents and all the oceans are nothing but the tectonic plates and all the continents and all the oceans are floating over the asthenosphere but why the plates are moving over the asthenosphere the plates are moving over the asthenosphere because of the convectional current okay the convectional current is created by the extreme pressure and temperature in atmosphere okay so that the plates or the continents or the oceans are compelled to move over the asthenosphere just keep in mind student that all the Ameri all the continents like america north america south america uh, africa india they are nothing but the tectonic plates okay the oceans the pacific oceans the atlantic oceans the um, continent south america the continent africa are nothing but the tectonic plates and all the continents like america africa uh, australia india are floating over the asthenosphere just keep in mind all the continents are nothing but the tectonic plates and the tectonic plates are moving over the asthenosphere due to the extreme pressure and temperature that's why the tectonic plates are moving over asthenosphere okay and the convectional current created by the extreme pressure and temperature are also responsible for moving the plates in the asthenosphere okay and this mechanism through which the tectonic plates are moving over or floating over the asthenosphere is called plate tectonics this mechanism is called plate tectonics scientists believe or prove through the mechanism of plate tectonics the pangaea broke apart and formed seven separate continents and all the separate oceans okay just keep in mind that there were no separate seven continents but due to plate tectonics the single supercontinent pangaea broke apart and formed seven separate continents and five main oceans so if we summarize our class today we can make a gist that this is our outer portion of our earth where we are living and it is called crust crust and the crust is nothing but the continents or the oceans or we can say they are the tectonic plates and the tectonic plates are moving over the asthenosphere which is molten for extreme pressure and temperature and due to the extreme pressure and temperature here convectional current created and the tectonic plates are compared to move over the asthenosphere okay student so why is plate and why the plate tectonics theory or plate tectonics responsible to make seven separate continents instead of one single supercontinent pangaea plate tectonics theory is responsible for the breakage of pangaea and forming the seven separate continents and forming the seven five separate oceans okay students have you any doubt about this class Okay, students, just write down your homework. First question is, what is Pangaea and Panthalassa? And second is, why the continents and the oceans are moving? Okay, so students, see you in the next class. Please stay well and stay safe. Thank you.